I'm Pirtana B, and today I want to make a heart shape apron. It's very 50s, 40, 50s, cute, and <laughs> these are my references here. I decided to make this not for Valentine's Day because I feel like you should be able to wear a cute apron any day of the year and not just for one of them. And what I have for you today, I'm gonna make mine pink. I'm not really a big pink girl, but here we go. Here's the fabric I'm gonna use for the main kind of body, as well as the pocket and everything else. I have just a white bed sheet. This is the infamous uh, failed bloomers <laughs> fabric that I have here. I'm gonna use this as the gathered outer part, outer part of, the, of everything. And just to get a little bit of a kind of extra touch in there, I have this red, what's it called? Ribbon. I don't have a pattern for this, so I'm gonna try and figure out what I'm gonna be doing and uh, let's just get to cutting. The next step was actually using my very highly scientific and mathematical way of trying on the fabric and see how it would fit. When I had actually decided on something, I started cutting to some very, very dramatic ambience. Seam rip the rest of the duvet cover because the pink fabric was actually a child's duvet cover and that was to the sound of my husband doing the dishes as well as some orchestral music. I decided how wide I wanted the waistband to be and cut that and then I tried that. Oh, and by the way, Georg is going to be in this video. Some of the B-roll that I shot is just too adorable to not use it. And I started this project so long ago that I still have a lot of shots of them just being cute. So I'm, I'm going to keep it in. I made an end for the waistband and struggled to flip it. Then I pressed the ends and made some ruffles and also struggled to flip those. When looking at the ribbon, I realized gonna started acting really weird. Like really <laughs> weird. But turns out he just wanted to kill the snake. He quickly calmed down once the threat had been eliminated and cuddled to his sleeping George. I tucked in all the puckering and sewed that garbage up. Then I ironed it with this beautiful glow all around me. I cut a heart pocket. Said my forever goodbye to this little boy. And then I didn't touch this project for months. Until I did. I'm picking this up five months from when I started. I finished this this morning. Uh, this is gonna be the pocket. I am going to be adding ruffles on the sides of this. It's gonna be a big pocket because I have a big phone and I like to keep things in my pockets. So I'm gonna have one pocket, one big pocket. I have no idea now, thinking back, why I use this stripey material. This is the infamous uh, failed bloomers <laughs> fabric that I have here. I'm just gonna kind of go with it. I locked all the, I uh, kind of, kind of sealed the edges. So I just used the iron to push them in and then I used interfacing to kind of have them laying flat. And I am gonna do a decorative stitch all along the outside of this. And then we will add the ruffles after that. And then we will attach this to the skirt. I think I'm just gonna go with this one here. Simple and easy, let's go. Here 
here I was testing something out, just because. That's the ribbon I used. That thumbs up turned out to be the wrong call. But for the rest of that day, I made ruffles. Don't get me wrong, it looks cute, but we'll talk about that later. Here is the pocket, oh, kind of on. And this is the mock-up for the top, very happy. For the top, I cut fabric interfacing, attach the two, and then I cut the lining and also made more ruffles. As well as slowly and surely make sure my under chin has some spotlight in this video. I made a lining fabric sandwich with the ruffles in the middle, as well as straps attached. And then I flipped it and it looked awkward, even before attaching it to the skirt. I even had my husband comment on it. I attached, seam ripped and reattached the straps about four times and still ended up gaping like this. So I attached the bodice to the skirt and the pocket to the skirt. At this point I got the great idea to put darts into the bodice, which is generally something you do before you kind of finish everything up and sew everything together. Um, I pinned the darts off camera and what I did next, I will just tell you, just don't do it. It's a really stupid idea. I ironed my boobies to have the dart imprint in the fabric. Don't do this. It's dumb. Don't. <laughs> no, it's dumb. I sewed in the darts and then it was finally time to check if the apron actually worked as intended. And I'm gonna make a rhubarb pie. Let's check it. And it works! Not only does it work as an apron, uh, all my clothes are very clean underneath. Uh, the apron itself is very clean. It's nice, it's cute, it's pretty and it's like, it's very 50s, the putting in the, dart, the booby darts. Really like it, really like them. The only kind of downside <laughs> to the whole thing is my choice of the ribbon around the pocket because of the dusty rose color just kind of doesn't fit with the rest of it and the pocket is also quite big which i don't mind but it's it's just a lot and i'm actually happy so i'm not gonna go and change it right away even though like this is just a design choice and i made the wrong one which is okay but yeah this is it for this week let me know if you make the rhubarb pie because it's absolutely so delicious. You have to make it so good. I wish I had a rhubarb myself and I would make this all of the time and be so big. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.